Pier Paolo Patti, an artist beyond borders. A young contemporary artist with a keen eye and a peculiar perspective for decrypting reality, Pier Paolo Patti uses art to shed light on blatant and hidden contradictions of today's world. He does so through unconventional means. Objects of daily life can be pieces of art if contextualized and packaged to tell a story or convey a message by catching the viewer's attention through their inner aesthetic qualities. Patti's works are in fact visual and material installations where different objects and media vehicles are showcased with the aim of conveying multiple contents and meanings. Ideologically, as an artist, Patti likes to take sides. He is not neutral nor a mere observer. He usually finds himself on the side of minorities in all areas, striving to give them voice through his art. Pier Paolo Patti was born in Nocera Inferiore in southern Italy 43 years ago. During his adolescence, he learned on his own how to draw and paint on different materials. At the age of 20, he attended a three-year course in illustration and drawing at the European Institute of Design in Rome, where he gained knowledge of various art techniques, studied art history and semiotics under the supervision of Italian as well as Iranian teachers such as Riccardo Manelli and Darius Rodpour. Throughout his artistic career, Patti has drawn inspiration from contemporary issues, giving representation in his art to social conflict, exploring inter-religious dialogue, and highlighting cross-cultural influences. Human interaction, including in its lowest forms such as abuse and oppression, is an underlying motivation for Pier Paolo Patti's art. Three projects conveying different fields and based on innovative artistic concepts and techniques are particularly notable. Roots, Ape, Jean Vier. Artist in Residence is a program devised in 2018 by the Italian Embassy in Tehran and the cluster of the European Union National Institutes of Culture in Iran, IUNIC Iran, in cooperation with the Gerozzo Institute of Visual Arts and the Kush Cultural and Artistic Residence. As a winner of this competition, Pier Paolo Patti spent one month in Tehran during the fall of 2018. This experience led him to create the Roots Collection, an unconventional library on cohabitation between different peoples and cultures in the Mediterranean region and in the broader Middle East. Halfway between an artistic endeavor and a political statement, the project features material put together during his trips in Iran, Palestine, Libya, in the European ports where refugees land, as well as in war zones in Syria and Yemen. And it still is a work in progress, waiting to be enriched by new travel experiences and new material. Pier Paolo Patti's stay in Iran was the first step marking the beginning of a new exploration into geopolitical and social relations. It was an intense experience which added a critical dimension to his worldview and his aesthetics. Roots, origins, past are the key words of this project, ambitious yet simple in its conception. The goal is to create a library of single-volume books featuring stories told through written notes, 
but also through a variety of improvised material found by chance or provided by different subjects and civil society organizations. Each book is made up of pictures, travel notes, textiles, food wraps, photocopies, packaging, fragments of documents, drawings, and etc. The result is a harmonious storyline narrating the peaceful cohabitation of different religions and cultures, where art appears as a special tool for changing people's attitudes and way of thinking. And where books are its most effective vehicle, as they transfer knowledge and enable the learning process. Il progetto l'ho voluto chiamare proprio Roots, Radici. Mi piaceva l'idea, mi piaceva il concetto di, questa, di, questa, di questo progetto. Un progetto che avrebbe voluto abbattere i confini fisici che sono oggetto di, di conflitti, di morte, di distruzione di intere, intere aree di quei territori. Ho creato questa installazione con sì, questi frammenti, con questi con questi pezzi di storia diversa ho trovato anche delle, delle, delle documentazioni precedenti alla, alla rivoluzione di Comeini e li ho messi in dialogo con i quotidiani dei giorni della rivoluzione con alcune foto scattate nell'Iran contemporaneo e ho portato in galleria questa macchina da scrivere con caratteri infarsi dove ho voluto raccogliere le esperienze eh, legate a questo progetto dei visitatori della mostra. Avevo preparato una serie di, di, di fogli, di frammenti, di pezzi di carta dove, su, su, sui quali era possibile lasciare degli appunti, delle, delle frasi, delle, dei poemi ed è stato un, un inizio che mi ha dato da questo punto di vista una grande spinta emotiva, mi ha fatto crescere molto. In 2017, Patti introduced a solo exhibition at the Primo Piano Gallery in Naples, which would later form the backbone of his Abba Forgiveness and Unawareness collection. The show was organized into three rooms called Imminence, Incarnation, and Transcendence, and respectively connoted by the black, the red, and the white colors. Abba focuses on the bursting social, political and economic reality of the Middle East, a cradle of monotheistic religions and century-old cultures in perpetual, dramatic change. While grappling with content, Petty strives to convey his message through innovative tools and forms of expression. The vivid representation of blood reminds the viewer of the realist paintings of the 17th century in the Naples region, as do the strong chiaroscuro contrasts. In Abba, the famous evangelical episode of the multiplication of the loaves and the fishes is displayed through the image of the multiplication and division of a tumor cell. Petty highlights to the viewer the direct connection that exists between the poor quality of the food we eat today and the diseases we cause ourselves. Once a symbol of sharing, procreation and life, food has become today an instrument of death. Life, death, politics, religion, food interact in a paradox towards the end of this exhibit. Here is a sequence of frames showing Syrian refugees on the Hungarian border while receiving parcels of food is shown next to a mountain of stale bread and a shrine made up of fish. A fresh reference to the tragedies of our time, including food waste, in contrast to the past referenced by the miracles performed by Jesus Christ. Jean Vier is a black and white short film conceived in 2014 around the universe of musical experimentation in its intimate relation with the main character, Jean Vier.
through a peculiar process of contamination, Patti composes and performs his own music, which breaks the logic and rules of standard musical models. The movie features as well a successful artistic partnership between Pier Paolo Petti and Retina Pontuit, a Neapolitan electronic music duo pioneer in devising new sounds and executing improvised electronic music. Chambier è un cortometraggio che ruota intorno ai temi della sperimentazione musicale e il suo protagonista è un personaggio inventato che vive ai margini della società e che per pura necessità espressiva si costruisce degli strumenti e cerca di dare una nuova vita a, ai rifiuti della società. È un lavoro che ha eh, volendo anche un carattere politico, è un uh, lavoro che viene a valle di anni di sperimentazione di nuovi linguaggi sia nel campo del video sia nel campo della uh, sperimentazione sonora è un uh, lavoro che um, viene fuori da un sodalizio artistico con uh, i retina.it è un, uh, un lavoro sperimentale legato alla fonetica e ha dei um, anche la fotografia in bianco e nero che noi abbiamo voluto fosse eh, molto contrastata, molto, molto asciutta e per non lasciare eh, spazio ad orpelli, a decorazioni e eh, lasciare il campo totalmente all'ambito all musicale. Experience and passion for experimental languages are key components of Patti's creativity compounded with his ability to handle improvisation and turn it into a new artistic category. Jean Vier was presented in a number of renowned art and electronic music festivals in Italy and abroad, winning awards at the Naples Festival, Oak Awards, and Tervignano Film Festival in Udine province. These days, Pier Paolo Petti is working on a new project to be soon disclosed in Rome, featuring his own personal view of social and military conflict and its encroachment on people's lives and individual freedoms.